In this lesson, we're going to look at some examples of rule 6. So the first example here, n to the power of 3 over 4. Now we have to express these as roots. So we know the bottom is the root and the top is the power. So this will be the fourth root of n. I tend to put it in brackets and then cubed. The reason I put this in brackets and some of the textbooks don't is I tend to do the, the root first to make the number small. So then when the number is small, I can then cube it. If you take a number and then cube it and then you have to, to take the square root or the cube root, it's much harder to do. Do this operation first and then cube it or square it. Okay, what do we do with this? Well, we've got a 3 in the front, so just put your 3 in the front and then do the same idea. That 5 is the root and the 2 is the power, so it's the fifth root of n squared. Okay, over here, so n to the power of negative a half. Well, in order to deal with this, we want to change it to a positive power first. So put a 1 in the top and an n to the power of a half and then change this bottom bit into the root. Never try and do it with the negative here. Always change it to a positive first. So that's 1 over the square root of n. Now we don't tend to put the 2 in for the square root. We never have done in previous math lessons. You can if you want, but we, we tend to leave it as just the square root. OK, let's go over to this one. 2n to the negative a quarter. So this is another example of where, where does the 2 go, the top or the bottom? And again, what you need to try and think of it is 2 over 1 times 1 over n to the power of a quarter. And that should help you. OK, so that's just 2 over 1. So you can see the 2 is going to go in the top and the 1 times the n to the quarter on the bottom. Just get rid of that. OK, so 2 goes in the top end to the quarter and the bottom, change this into the fourth root, so it's 2 over the fourth root of n. This is very similar, um, you're going to have a 5, but it's going to be like 5 over 1 times 1 over n to the 2 thirds, to change that bit into a positive power. So the 5 is going to go to the top, and the n to the two thirds in the bottom. Okay, to change this bit, the three is the root, the two is the power, so cube root of n squared. Okay, let's finally look at this in terms of numbers. So how do you work it out with numbers? So let's do four to the power of a half. If we know our stuff, that we know that that's the square root of four, and that's two. Okay, let's do 216 to the power of a third. So again, that's the cube root of 216. What times what times what makes 216? That's 6. Okay, slightly more complicated. Let's look at when you've got a, a fraction with a, a numerator greater than 1. That means it's a top number bigger than 1. So 27 to the 4 thirds for the bottom bits of the root top bits of power. So that's the cube root of 27 to the power of 4. Again, do this bit first. So the cube root of 27 is 3. So 3 to the power of 4. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. Okay, let's look at this then. Negative 8 to the power of 2 thirds. So the bottom bit is the root, top bit is the power. So the cube root of negative 8 squared. Now we have to be careful here thinking of what the what times what times what makes negative 8. It can't be positive 2 because that would give you positive 8. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So it's negative 2 squared, which is 4. OK, last one here. What happens when you deal with a negative power? Well, always change it to a positive 1 first. So put a 1 in the top and change it into 27 to the 2 thirds. And then you deal with this bit here. So that's the cube root, bottom bit's the root, cube root of 27 squared. Now the cube root of 27 is what times what times what makes 27? That's 3. So 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9. Okay, so just a wee summary, just at the end here. This is the six rules of indices. You must learn these to be good at indices. 
Uh, indices are really important, and especially if you want to go into higher maths, you need to know this stuff for calculus. So rule 1, when you times indices, you add them. Rule 2, when you divide them, you subtract them. If you have, for rule 3, bracketed uh, powers to the power of something else, you multiply those two things. Rule 4, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Rule 5, to change negative powers to positive ones, put a 1 in the top. If there's a value in the front, like a 3, put 3 in the top. Just be careful if there's a fraction in the front, then the number will go to the bottom. If it's like 1 over 4, the 4 will go to the bottom. And the last rule we've just been looking at, fractional indices, bottom number is the root, top number is the power.